But the conversation that we're not having, there's so much focus on um, Ted Strickland because he's the former governor, but I'm not convinced that Ted Strickland will be um, the one who comes through the primary really? on the Democratic side. Absolutely not. Really? He's been ghost. Um, he's not been speaking to any of the issues. He's refusing to debate. Um, P.G. Sittenfeld is um, just blazing through the state mm -hmm. and creating a great groundswell of support. So I'm not certain that Ted Strickland will be the Democratic are you in, nominee. Are you endorsing Sittenfeld? Um, if I were asked to endorse, I'd put my money on Sittenfeld, really? for sure. Absolutely. Really? He is a young comer. Yes. And, 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 a lot, and he's got a lot of, certainly a lot of ideas and a lot of great energy. Um, but, but you don't think that, that's, that Ted Strickland is, is a lock here at all? For no, the, I don't think he's a lock. Um, because things are very volatile politically and within the Democratic Party as well. And people are looking for uh, leaders to emerge who are going to actually um, be aggressive and be fighters, you know, and go in as advocates for and that is how P.G. Sittenfeld is presenting himself. And, you know, you have to be on the field to actually be in the fight. And Ted has been invisible. Whether it's Strickland, Sittenfeld, or, or someone else. Mm -hmm. I, I found something else from Politico, and they, they pointed this out um, for the Democrat, in that Democratic members of Congress have been disappearing in rural, sta in rural parts of states mm -hmm. like Ohio, like Kentucky, West Virginia, North Carolina, and, and Virginia. Sure. That creates another challenge for the Democrat, doesn't it? It does indeed. Yep. There's no question about it. Republicans are doing very well these days in congressional elections in those areas. And Democrats are looking for something new. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad you brought up Sittenfeld. <laughs>